Good morning everybody. Today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at eco scraps, organic gardening, herb, leafy green, plant food, and we're going to be breaking it down and deciding if this is something that you might want to add to your garden or if this is something you want to stay away from. Stay tuned. Look at those veggies. Okay, first of all, let's see how easy it is to open the bag. I don't know about you guys, but packaging that is frustrating and hard to open is not something that I enjoy. So let's see how hard it is to open. I'm going to put the phone down, so I'm not going to show you guys uh, because I can't do both. But uh, I'll let you know how easy or difficult it is to open. Okay, I got the top off. It did not require any tools. It did, in fact, peel off across uh, the line where it says to peel, and it does have a Ziploc-style closure on the inside for resealing the bag. So, so far, so good, but now let's get into a little bit more of the actual product. Now, I don't know if I love this angle or hate this angle, but this is the angle we'll go with at least for right now. So... I'm going to repurpose this cat food container because why not? I think it would be perfect. It's got a little flip top there. I think it would be perfect for um, adding to the garden and not having to mess with uh, opening the bag every time. So that's what it looks like. You guys can see there, it's pretty much small granules, 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 granules. put that on there like that so those are the contents that's what it looks like there and in a second here I'll get to the side of the bag and I'll tell you guys exactly what um, what all it's made up of okay so here's the breakdown as you guys can see nitrogen phosphate and potassium which is potash and that tells you right there what it's made out of Feather meal, blood meal, bone meal, sulfate, potash, which is a potassium, and compost. So, let's get a little bit deeper. So here's something that I saw in the bag that actually got me interested in it in the very beginning of why I actually purchased it. It gives you a little bit of information about how much food is thrown away, how much waste, and how much damage it does to the environment. So by composting, you can actually help out quite a bit. So this is something that I found pretty interesting. 40% of food goes uneaten. Um, that releases the methane, which is 20 times more harmful than carbon dioxide. Um, and basically that if we use that food waste and made it into compost, you could use that soil to grow a billion tomatoes. So that's pretty wild. I don't think there's any way to actually... Uh, confirm that that I know of um, but it does get you thinking that's for sure so this is a basic breakdown of exactly what all uh, it's for what all is in there how much you add um, if you're using it for a, a garden bed or if you're using it in some type of uh, container for your plants so since my plants are in containers I'm probably going to be doing that right there and I believe the application for this is pretty simple. So uh, I'll just follow that conversion amount right there. And in a second, I'll show you guys how I like to apply it to my plants. Okay, so here we go. Here's one of my pepper plants, my black cobra. And basically what you do is you pour it all around. You can add up to a three-quarter cup which I definitely have not done at this point. But you just pour it all around there like so. And then you just kind of work it in. Just to kind of in that top layer. It says don't dis disturb the root bed, but it's probably going to happen a little bit. That's it. And then what you do is you water it in very well. And I think it says reapply 
once monthly. So we'll see how this does. It was very inexpensive on Amazon for a four point four pound bag. So I'll shoot some quick video of me applying it to my other plants. The application was easy. You sprinkle it on, you water it in, you wait and see if you get any results. I think a 545 is a pretty good NPK. Uh, it's really just kind of a generic number when you get all the numbers so close together. That's, uh, that's really what uh, kind of a generic fertilizer composition would be. But since it's organic, you really can't overdo it. You can't over fertilize. So let's see. Let's give it about a month. See what the weather's like, obviously. And we'll go from there. And hopefully this turns out to be a great buy. But for the money, for like $6 or something that I paid on Amazon for a four pound bag, I don't think you can beat it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found the video helpful. And if this is something you're interested in, remember to like and subscribe. I love seeing new followers every time I get a notification. Be safe, everybody.